avocado toast. I'm not doing well mentally, but I sure as hell can make avocado toast and coffee and make it taste good. Anyways, how are you doing? I haven't been on YouTube in a bit. I guess in order to make avocado toast, we're gonna need an avocado. I don't like the way my camera is right now. We're gonna fix this. I guess that's kind of better. It looks like, like a hedgehog. Don't ask her. The jackpot. Are you kidding me? That seed is so tiny and it's such a beautiful color. Avocado lottery winner, Rachel Zegler. Tell your friends. Tell your friends. Have you told your friends yet? Are they proud of me? So how, you might be thinking, Rachel, how do you know you're not doing well mentally? I'll tell you. I have watched Bo Burnham's Inside three times now, and I just bought tickets to see it in a theater here in Atlanta for a fourth time because I feel incredibly seen by so much of it. And I know that that's not uh, a, a singular experience of mine. I know that that is pretty universal. It's the reason that it's so popular is because so many people feel so seen and comforted by the fact that this amazing person who is you know, famous in his own right and like is a, is a talented creative also felt super lost creatively throughout the horrible year we all endured last year. I think for me, it was just the pressure to make something great in quarantine and I don't think I did. I mean, like I, I wrote a couple of songs, but I, I didn't like them all that much. I don't know. I just felt so seen by the fact that he would get frustrated with the fact that it wasn't finished. And then the juxtaposition of the feeling that when I finish it, what am I gonna do? Like, it's so real. And then that whole song, like All Eyes On Me, the bridge to all eyes on me. Say the ocean's rising like I give a shit. You say the whole world's ending, honey, it already did. It just hurt my feelings so good. And I've been showing it to everyone and making sure that everybody watches it because I feel like it should be mandatory viewing. Also, sorry for the clicks, I'm cutting up the avocado and I just kind of like to randomly stab it. I don't know why. Anyways, I had a night shoot for Shazam last night. So I got home around two in the morning and I just like slammed my head against the pillow and went right to sleep. I, I love night shoots so much. I don't mind night shoots, they're fun. We had a ton of them on West Side Story so I was just kind of like used to it. And I love my brain and how funny I am at that time of day because I'm never up at those hours. Well, that's not true. I'm a night owl but I'm usually not around people. In, in, in the nighttime, so I'm like, no one ever hears the golden material that comes out of my mouth post 9.30 p.m. So I was making people laugh. And we had the best extras ever yesterday. If you were an extra on Shazam 2, Fury the God, from July 15th into July 16th in the nighttime, you guys are so awesome. They're so cool. They're just such a powerful scene and like, the extras really gave it and they were so fucking cool. Anyways, yeah, I'm like not doing great mentally. I need to talk to my therapist about it because I know what's bothering me and I know what's going on. And I know that like there are things going on in my life that have like triggered old responses from stuff that's like kind of been buried deep from a while ago. Uh, and like all of that stuff resurfacing and making me feel the way I felt then is like, really horrible and the internet is also like the worst place in the world and every time i log on it makes me want to delete it more so might do that and i know that everyone's gonna be like well i don't do it i have to for my brain so if i disappear from the internet you know why i don't know if this was intentional but that is the motif the jets motif from west side story mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Garlic powder on it. Got it, good, now get, get inside. We're going to fall, but it knows it, but it knows. Put your avocado mush into a bowl. I'm too lazy to make salsa, so we're gonna get some pre-made jarred salsa in this business. We're getting on the Disney princess. I shouldn't be cursing, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I have no self-control. Sorry, Mr. Mouse. Nice. You just take like a healthy scoop and like a little bit more if you're feeling, if you're feeling chatty. And then stir it around. Deliciousness, deliciousness. 
Then I add a little bit of garlic salt. And then we're gonna toast our bread. And while our bread is toasting, we're gonna take some grape or cherry tomatoes, whatever you have. I have grape tomatoes. And we're gonna like slice them up a little bit so we can put them on the top and it'll be so cute. So cute. And we're gonna make coffee. Why is my toaster plugged in? Can you reach me? No, you can't. Make sure you wash those tomatoes, ladies. You should always salt tomatoes too. Always. I'm really sick and tired of the internet. I'm just tired of it. I also think like that was also part of Bo Burnham's thing. That was like, was there like there was a scene where he's like sitting there looking super, not even like disgusted or confused. Like it's such a neutral, I say neutral, but like it's something that could be interpreted so many different ways. In my head, the first thing was disgust and like disdain for what he was watching and it would turned out to be like a projection of him at like 16, 17 years old on YouTube doing something. And I was like, yep, mm -hmm. yeah. You wanna know why I've deleted so many of my videos? Cause I sat there and I did that once, watched it and was disgusted by my face and my voice and the way I carried myself and my personality. I don't even think it's changed. It's just that I don't record it as much anymore. And I don't give myself the opportunity to feel that kind of disgust with myself. Because honestly, at the end of the day, it will kill you. That kind of uh, self-criticism will end your life. But yeah, I like, I, I felt that so hard when he was just like sitting there looking at himself. I was like, oh fuck. The bread is ready. Gonna have some coffee. So I use French vanilla creamer, whatever, yell at me, I don't care. And this cold brew. And if they want to sponsor me, Hello, please do. I put the creamer in first. I put a lot in. I don't like my coffee. I don't like my coffee black. I know everyone's gonna be like, Rachel, that looks like milk. I don't care. I actively do not care. Get a plate, bread on plate. Display your toast for the class. Take a scoop of our avocado salsa garlic mixture. Ooh, my coffee's making noise. Love when it does that. I did go to Disney. I didn't vlog. Well, here's my footage from Disney because I know some of you want it. I don't have a lot because I was trying to enjoy myself as much as I could. I met so many of you guys, which was such a treat for me because I haven't gotten to meet you in maybe two years because I had a bit of a moment right after we wrapped West Side Story where I wasn't out very often. So I was very depressed and then COVID hit and then I was even more depressed and, and inside, forcefully inside. And so I haven't been able to sit there and meet you guys and like talk to you guys and hug you guys and hold your hands in a long time. It was such a treat. I had such a good time. Um, and also just thank you to Disney for setting so much of that up for me. It was a magical time and I'm a Disney princess and it was just very magical. Anyways, here's some of the footage of that while I finish making my toast. <laughs> <laughs> We're here, baby. Are you on Yeah. Hi. Oh, it just fell. <laughs> Mayday. Disney's are brewing. Disney's are brewing. Not quick bird. Oh, fuck. Quick and pace there, lady. Come on. <laughs> We're turning the corner, lesbians. We're rounding the corner. I'm back. You're here. <laughs>
happy gal, happy lady, happy, 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 happy. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! It's so cool! I mean, we're prisoners. I don't think I should be enjoying it. Oh, I'm doing it? Okay, 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 okay. Um, Stop! That's it. No, do it, do it, do it. This looks so ridiculous. Done. Yeah, done, done, done. Press again. No, that's it, that's it. Wait. Guys, we did it! What? Yeah. Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos. You did it! Jeffrey Bezos, Jeffrey Bezos, Jeffrey Bezos. Jeffrey Bezos. Congratulations. Hey guys, good morning. I'm gonna try and vlog today in Disney World. It's probably gonna go really poorly, but this is our last day and I feel like I haven't given you guys any content. Not even a crumb, nothing, nothing at all. Sorry, I have coffee, we're going on Spaceship Earth. Stop yelling at me, bye. Brenna and I are really excited because we heard Spaceship Earth has a drop in it. Get in! <laughs> We were there, now we are here, and now we're going to press English. But it also brings to the door of the Where are the women? Brenna, say something fun. Give us a quip. Men are so stupid, huh? We resume our journey shortly. Skinny. Thank you. Oh, honey. If that's the earth. Where are we? That's what my mom always says on this ride, and I miss her, so I'm keeping her legacy alive. It's disgusting to be related to you. Yes, we will! We're single riding test track, cause there's no wait, and why would we wait if we didn't have to wait? Let's go, let's rage, let's party. Does everyone hate me? Wow. Explore, explore, explore. Mr. Baby we can't explore without Nemo. I'm sure we'll see him any minute now. Aww. You guys made me I wonder if that was good. Was that good, guys? It's jellyfish. You're good. The voice. The voice. I don't know. That's not a turtle. <laughs> Fishy, wake up. So Brenna's never been on Figment and she doesn't know anything. So we're gonna tell her what to expect. Um, the dragon feeds off fear and <laughs> Figment feeds off of your fear. So this, <laughs> the more scared you are, the more crazy Figment gets. True story. I am your children and um, oh, We're ready, we're going on. <laughs> Turn to imagination. <laughs> With Figment and Brenna. <laughs> Wow. We're overwhelmed and scared. A lot of people will be scared here. You'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, come on, go do! Absolutely not. It's time, it's time, it's time for Brenna's favorite. We will yeah, I would love to. Um, can you give me like three minutes? Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Are you filming I'm, yeah, I'm How documenting this beautiful How day. Dare you? I have no voice today. So gonna, me neither. I'm going to make sure we get a good vote. So give me like three seconds. Come over with me. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Yay! In the wild. Ah. Well, what? <laughs> well. Oh, 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 this is going to be a oh, 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 o
Welcome to the internet. Take a look around. Well, I hope that was fun. Avocado toast and coffee. It's 11.30 and I did the thing I wanted to do today. I don't go to work until 6.30 p.m. because we got another night shoot tonight. So I'm gonna eat this toast and I'm gonna edit this and hopefully post it today. Cause I've missed you guys. I mean, I wouldn't mind if this was my only source of social media for a while. I pro I'm probably lying and I'm probably being dramatic right now. That sounds like me, but straight up not having a good time online at the moment or in my head. And maybe that's too vulnerable and maybe people will use it against me, but this is the internet. So what can I expect other than that? <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this talk about mental health and the internet, making avocado toast and a couple of clips from the happiest place on earth. I love you. Loving you is truly the easiest thing for me to do. I hope you stay smiling, stay singing. Always consider the coconut. Um, you can watch more of my adventures from Disney through the lens of my beautiful friend, Kevin, who has a great channel. I will link his video with myself and Brenna and my friend Bren um, in the description box below. Um, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, like, whatever, whatever you want, I don't care. I've got food and coffee. Who could ask for anything more? Bye. Nice.